That's the Comets 38 to 8 win over the Church and Truckers here at Powhatan Field. Coach, you moved to 4 and 3 after the two losses. Uh, tough ones to the likes of Norcom and Lake Kidder, but you had to like how your defense played from start to finish. You give up just 91 yards to offense, and I thought all three levels played pretty well for the game. Yeah, we did it. We did a good job. Um, and I was saying before, we, we, we executed well, and, and we talked to the guys about being accountable and, and making sure you do your assignment. And when we do that as a unit and as a team, then we have a great opportunity to be successful. So so we did that tonight. And the guys did their job. Nobody tried to be a guy that makes all the plays. They just did what their roles were on the team. And we did a good job executing as a unit. It was definitely a team, um, definitely a team success tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd necessarily compare him to that 2012 defensive line with Tashad Charity and Sherrod Rowland, but you told me back in the summer that you felt your strength could be your line playing. Your defensive lineman that I thought really set the tone, uh, led by Jaquel Gillespie, is really more of an outside linebacker playing DN for you. Yeah, well, mo most of them are, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> like I think I told you earlier when we were in that in an ideal world, I would probably like to have all of them probably playing linebacker. Mm -hmm. But, you know, at the, at the high school level, you know, you got to put your guys where it helps your team be effective, and they can do both. But they do a good job getting off the ball um, and, and and getting and creating penetration and creating chaos, and you know it kind of is they, they are, are the catalyst for what we do defensively and and they take pride in it. So that's a good thing that they take pride and they and they want to be successful. And, and you know it's just helping us grow. We have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. But but we are as long as we continue to grow and continue to work hard, we can get there. Gillespie's only a sophomore. Saquon Privet, number fifty. Uh, junior for your defensive yeah. tackle, DN. He had a, a pump block for you, recovered a fumble early. Another guy that was really, I thought, effective early on in the game. Right, yes, definitely. He's a junior. Saitwan's a junior. Kel's a sophomore. Mm -hmm. um, and, and they have the opportunity to, to be very successful. Um, and, you know, that bodes well for the future, but what we have to do is we have to continue to work and continue to grow. We can't, you know, we can't get uh, too wrapped up in the success. We got to know the hard work we put in here. I think one thing that happened to us last week is we got hungry. Mm -hmm. and, um, and they came out hungry today. So and it, and we saw what we can do when we are uh, just work hard and just do what we are assigned. How much does it everybody gets built up for playing on Lake Taylor because they've been the king of your district for long, but the right. game after Lake Taylor takes so much out of you mentally and physically as well as emotionally going right. into the next game. Did that take a lot out of you guys? Take a toll on you a little bit? Or? Um, I, I don't know if I don't know if it took a lot of a lot out of us, um, but you definitely get, you know, you get built up for them, um, and, and it's just always a, a knock them out kind of game because, like I said, they're always in your face. So I don't know how much it took out of them, um, but it, it definitely, for some reason, it definitely took us some time to get back to where we were. But despite our success tonight, um, we still we got a tough game, very explosive team next week in Norview. That we have to take care of. So we we'll got Cox in the Northview, isn't it? I think so. Is it Northview? I, I, I know it's your next district game. I think you got Cox coming up. If it's not next week, it's the week after. I know you got Cox and Northview back to back. So we'll oh, just okay. a second. Well, make sure you edit that out. <laughs> okay. right, we got Cox next week. Um, <laughs> Northview, right? Well, I don't know. I just know. I just knew we had Churchland tonight. Yeah, yeah, sure. So and, and actually, with, with Cox, we you know we have a big and powerful team, and that's mm -hmm. one of the things they did to us when we played the last year. They just mm -hmm. kind of. You know, they, they use that size and that strength that they have to kind of grind the game out on us. So either way, you know, we have a tough game, you know, next week. And we have a game that we don't execute and then we have to come to play. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, so so we're going to keep getting tested. You know, you're pretty much that. in winner go home mode, aren't you? I, mean, I know you, you still say you can get in if you lose one of those last three, but it's pretty much the playoffs started for you guys now to get in. Well, yeah, for the most part, um, there's, a, there's some scenarios that, that we, we may be able to get in with, but we can't worry about those mm -hmm. because – you know, just because of our district, is going to be very difficult for us to outpoint some of the other D6 mm -hmm. teams. So the only way that we can ensure that that happens is um, is to take care of business on the field. But we got to do that one week at a time. Yeah. So um, that's, that's the main thing we got to do. We got to do that one week at a time. And, um, you know, we just got to make sure we stay focused. Final one, I know your offense is still a work in progress, but you put 38 up on the board tonight. And one guy I thought really played well for you, didn't turn the ball over at all either, was Shavaya Williams. Did I get it right? Shavaya, Shavaya, yes. Wide receiver, junior, number 11. He's a guy to watch out for the uh, rest of the season and beyond. Oh, yes, he's definitely uh, – he's, he's, he has a good hands, runs good routes, um, has a great passion for the game, um, plays with a game, plays the game with a purpose that's, that's much bigger than just, you know, football, you know. Um, and, and he definitely – 
uh, will be he'll, he'll, he'll have his success and he'll definitely be somebody to look out for because he does a great job and works hard um, so you know we're looking for big things for him we're kind of I've kind of felt if he did the things that he needed to do that he would have a breakout season this year and it seems like he's, he's sure. working toward that and that's a good thing good deal well you congrats right. for your time thank Appreciate you it. no problem man no problem. and work tomorrow man